Sharon, or Sharon, I need this week's filming schedule. Can you um bring that to me? Of course, Papa Darling, I'm coming. They're both sex no, boys. that Anyhow, voice. Just, just I know it's somewhere. What do you, what do you want, man? No, like, it can't be. Like no, it's no, impossible. No, no. All right, all right, dude, you're you're gonna get a kick out of this. All right, all right. So you know, you see, I owe this guy some money, and you know what I did? <laughs> I ripped him off. I didn't even get what he really wanted. So he tried to come and kill me. But the true thing is, I got to him first. I pushed him off a roof building. <laughs> and the cops there figured out it was me. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, I gotta call you back, dude. Someone uglier than me is here. What the absolute hell are you doing here, Fockle? Whoa, whoa, easy, man. I'm here to get a job, just same as you. Plus, I'm here to keep an eye on you. But Strucker doesn't want anyone betraying him. Uh, I'm a part of the plan. I still... I'm not getting cold feet. Really? Because he's been watching the videos. Seems like you've been getting a little buddy-buddy with Puppet and his friends. No, of course not. I'm not. I'm still... I'm still in order. I know exactly what I'm here for. I don't care at all about these people. Good, 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 good. Because, you know, I thought you were done with Von Strucker anyway, after our little agreement. Well, gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. He blackmailed me again. But, you know, after this, this will be the last blackmail. So, I was happy to do it, but also not happy to do it at the same time. <laughs> Just making sure that you're doing your things. I'm watching you, Sharon. Of course, and I'll be keeping an eye on you. And I'll be keeping an eye on you. And I'll be keeping an eye on you. Hey, hey guys, stop with that arguing. And Sharon, I asked you for the report earlier. Where, what is the video schedule? Sorry. Um, Puppet, I, I'm coming, I'm coming. We're not done with this conversation, Fakul. I think we are, because we're not talking anymore. So, I, I think the conversation is done already. Hmm. Better call my, my, my brother Steven. Alright, Fakul, here is the schedule for this week. Okay, blade on me. Alright, so you have to do a movie review on Shazam, okay? And the new Blu-ray of Glass comes out, so you should do one on that. Okay, that sounds cool. And also, you also have to do, ah, uh, let's see, Dumbo. I already did Dumbo. No, you have to do the live action one. Ah, uh, right, 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 they made a live action. That's correct. All right, is that it for this week? That should be all. Okay, okay, okay. And I have to ask a question, puppet. Okay, lay down on me. Why did you hire, you know, him? Oh, you mean Fargo? Yeah, that guy's a pretty cool guy. Pretty cool guy. Did you not read his resume? Yeah, and I did also read his criminal record. So you know about everything? Yeah, he's a drug addict. He's a sex offender as well. I don't think I feel comfortable with that. Well, uh, you know, people can change. You gotta give people a chance. You know, like, a chance. But, but him. Yeah, him. Uh, why would make you hire him? Well, we did make a deal. If he got me Avengers tickets, I would be, I would hire him. But then, you hire that man! Because he got you Avengers tickets? Well, yeah, I mean, that seems like a pretty good deal. You hired that, that thing! Hey, 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 you know, he's a, he's a puppet. He's not in a thing. Shut up, man. You should not have hired him. Oh, what, what's your beef with him? I just, I don't feel comfortable with a, he's a, a sex offender. You know? If you act like you know, I don't. I just don't feel comfortable with a man like that, you know? I, uh, no, no female would feel comfortable. Well, I don't think Mira has a problem. They're actually hitting it off pretty well, actually. Oh my goodness, it's Mr. Freckles. Okay, okay, laces. <sighs> Ugh, that was terrible, but that'll work. Oh, Mr. Freckles! Huh? Oh, oh, God, no. Not her. You know, Mr. Freckles, I have a thing for merman. And I look like a merman? Of course not, silly! You look like a hairy thing. And I really, really like hairy guys. A lot. Please, please stop touching me. Please stop! Oh, you're so warm. You really, you really feel like... Please, let, let me go! I, I can't breathe! Uh... Just let, just let me conquer you, baby. Please, someone, someone help me. She's harassing me. Please, she falls in love with him instead of me. <sighs> That's all you're worried about. Don't you think he could have been a danger? I mean, imagine if he brought drugs into here. That your entire studio would just be, you know, could be compromised. Compromised? Ah, I don't but worry about it. And if he does smoke, what's the problem? Ugh, you're such an idiot. 
Listen, listen. It's my studio. I know right from wrong. He's a trustworthy person. He would never backstab me. Derek, on the other hand, he probably would. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and get this Shazam thing out of the way, shall we? Ugh, we are not done with this conversation. I, I, you should not have hired him. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. I don't know why you keep coming. Anyhow, we're talking about superheroes today. Superheroes? Aren't you people tired of superheroes already? Those men in those really skinny tights. And hardly any women. And if there is a female, you all hate on her. I just don't understand this world anymore. Why? It's been like, oh, 12, 15 years and you guys still aren't tired of superheroes? Don't we have enough superhero movies already? Anyways, I guess it's time to start the show, huh? Give a great round of applause to the sec- I I'm not reading that. Give a round of applause to the most average, pretty small puppet. The one, the only, man himself, Puppet. Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to Puppet Reviews. Now, now, if this is your very first time checking out my channel, if you didn't know, I do DVD reviews, movie reviews, cartoons, reactions, and sometimes video games. And if all that stuff sounds great to you, then check out my channel, Puppet Review Stuff. Now, in further ado, let's go ahead and get to today's review. So, DC is at it again, trying to beat the big bad Marvel, and going up against Infinity War, for that matter. Excuse me, Endgame. Now, I don't think anything could compare to Endgame, but I guess we can get some nice, decent, you know, advertisers before we actually get to the main meal of Endgame. And that's what DC gave us. Captain Marvel. Excuse me. Shazam. You know, it's kind of funny. They, DC gave us Shazam, and Marvel gave us Captain Marvel. Pretty fun. We get two birds with one stone. Both Captain Marvels. Within a, you know, less amount of time. Almost within a month between each other. Kind of interesting. Shazam was a really interesting one. The funny thing is, I was more excited for Shazam than actually Captain Marvel. And that's saying something. <laughs> but, yeah. I think DC is getting pretty better. You know, with the release of Aquaman, which was pretty good. And, you know, we got Wonder Woman. Justice League was another story. But, you know, DC, I think, is improving significantly. And with the positive response from the Joker trailer, which I think looks, eh, it's okay. It's, I don't think it's my cup of tea. But, eh, it looks pretty good. But DC's doing pretty good things right now. And Shazam is, you know, no exception to that. Um, so... We're about to go see what my opinion is on this movie. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this review. Roll the clip. You're him. You're the hero. You're welcome for not getting robbed. I'm Batman. Get him back in! How old are you? Basically 15. Electrocuted a bus and almost killed these people. And then I caught it! Oh boy, Shazam! Shazam was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed that kind of this. So if you really didn't know, Shazam is about a, a wizard who is basically tired of trying to search for champions. And he says, screw it, let's go ahead and pick this kid. You know, because for all these years, everyone was so imperfect. Found this one kid, he's like, he'll do, I guess. Uh, uh, um, I'm too old for this crap. Let me kill myself. Let me let me die. I'm, I'm tired of this. You're, you're up. Hey, 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 kid. What's your name? Did you do something good? Okay. Go, come on, come on, come on, kid. I'll give you some superpowers and you you be amazing. I guess I don't know. Maybe you have a crumble background. I don't care. Just just get your get your ass over here right now. Yeah. Just just come over here. And so the wizard gives him superpowers, and he becomes technically not Shazam. He, he actually doesn't even have a name in the entire movie, which is actually kind of funny and ironic. So, he's a superhero. He does... He really doesn't even do superhero things until, like, a big threat comes in. But, yeah, he just... It's about a kid. He's being neglected. He's a foster kid. He doesn't really care about anyone else except him for himself. And he's trying to learn to be, you know, open up to people. Because that's what, what every movie with a foster kid is about, opening to family. So... 
that's the movie. Pop it, I'll bring it up to you for your opinion. Shazam has a lot of good humor to it. This is a hilarious film. I gotta say, I loved laughing out loud to this. Ha ah, ha ha, this was, this was a really funny film. Your phone's charged, your phone's charged. The hell? No. I really enjoyed my time with it. So not all jokes landed, not all of them, but there were a lot of good jokes. Plus, I had a lot of dark scenes and like, not really gritty, but just like, wow, they went that far. And this, this movie was kind of like, geared towards kids, like a family film. Like, yeah, most DC's, like DC's known for darkness, and this one's not really, it's more like light, hard, fun. And it's like, and I love the scenes where they're trying to test out the superpowers. That's like some of the best scenes. And like, I love the aspect that when he becomes a superhero, he doesn't really do superhero things. He just does stuff that, because he's in an adult's body, he just stuff, does stuff because he's an adult now. Like, he doesn't just really, he's not really even a, really a superhero. He even like starts stealing stuff in the movie. Just because he can. It's, it's, yeah, and he does street performances and all that stuff. So it's just like he's just like a celebrity at this point. It's kind of funny, and they're in Philadelphia, and I love the joke. They're like, yeah, Philadelphia now has a superhero. And you know, and he's actually, it's interesting. They actually touch on the premise that it's a child in an adult's body, and it's basically what you expect your 15-year-old to do in an adult's body, basically. And they run, do that well. I think they do it really well. I actually like it. The, the actor, I forget who he is, but he does an amazing job embracing a child. Maybe that's because he has mental problems and heart, he's a child. But anyways, he does a really good job. Like, he really embodies that he's a kid. But when it does get serious, uh, he's still a kid. I really enjoy this movie. This is a really fun time in the movie theater. And just, I was really looking forward to this. More than Captain Marvel, interestingly enough. And I honestly like this movie more than Captain Marvel. It was a lot more funny. The, the action was, eh, it was okay. But I felt like this movie had a lot more heart to it and a lot more emotion than Captain Marvel. And it, when you look at a Captain Marvel, she's just like this. An emotionless puppet. And then when you see Shazam, you're like, ah, 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 oh god, oh god, oh good bad guy, huh? All right, come on over here, bad guy. Come on. Basically like that. You know, Shazam has a lot more personality than Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's just a bland character. He's a lot more, you know, impressionist. Or I, I really don't know how to really describe it. But yeah, and I would say the um, his best friend Fred. It's like, or his like stepbrother Fred. The, 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 when they're Shazam and Fred, Freddy are on like on screen together. Those are some of the best scenes. Like their chemistry together, like their friendship. It, it's really good. I actually love it. Yes, Freddy is. You know the like. I love this actor. The the kid. The kid is actually like my favorite. Like one of the favorite best parts of this movie. He does so much. He brings so much of the comedy in this, and I just like their relationship a lot. It's just really well. And the guy. Um, Billy. Billy himself when he's not Shazam. Um, he's not really, he's just really a, a downer. The, every time you see him on screen, he's just like moping or everyone just wants to get away from everyone. But when Shazam, he's just like super, super energetic and emotionless. I mean, mo not, not emotionless, but more just like excited, enthusiastic. But when he's just Billy, he's just like, hey, I'm Billy. Get, leave me alone, dude. Bye. Yeah. I'm, I'm a loner. I'm a yeah, I'm trouble. Yeah, he's not really emotional or anything. Maybe because he is an adult and he's a superhero, he just he's more excited to do that. I mean, as he is Shazam, he does, you know, over time get more, you know, emotional. I mean, not emotional in like sad way, but emotional in, like the cheery way, excitement and all that jazz. But yeah. Also, I gotta touch on the villain. The villain of this movie is okay. It's an interesting villain. Um, I actually don't mind the villain. The thing is, like, it's not, he's not that interesting villain, but he's like, he's a cool villain. I mean, he's not really cool, but he's an, a threatening villain. Like, you see him as a threat, and, like, he doesn't screw around, which I do like. But his motivation is kind of weak, though. Like, he wants power, and wants to get back at his dad or, or something. He doesn't want to show he's weak. Even though, like, when you see him, he's just like, he's living the dream, basically. He, he's rich and all that jazz. and he, But he still wants power to, what, get revenge on your dad? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Is, 
his motivations are, are very weak, but I do like him as a villain. He's not terrible, and like I like the actor that they got because he's just a threatening villain. He doesn't joke around. He's like this really super serious villain against this really goofy superhero. I like that. That's kind of cool. And the Foster Kids. Um, today I'm gonna touch on the Foster Kids. We should have got. I like the Foster Kids. I like the aspect of it, and I like. This is one of the first times we actually see a foster home that's actually loving and caring. We don't usually see that in movies. Most foster kid, like, you know, guardians are usually like the worst people on the earth and you just always want something to happen to them. Just, they're always just terrible people. But this time, they're actually like the best people. I don't know why you would want to run away from them. And just the mother. That mother, though. <laughs> Imagine the nice, stuffy dreams I have. D -d 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 she, she's, a, she's a nice looking woman. That's all I can say. And I don't know how he got with that guy, but yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? she probably leave that guy soon. And she, you know, puppy ears all open, you know? Anyhow. Well, yeah. I like the kids. Uh, I mean, there's one kid that's basically just, just there. He's not really meant for anything. Just, I don't know why. But the little black girl, ah, oh, man, I love her. She's just adorable and sweet. I love her. I think her name's Gabby. I don't really remember her name. Quite frankly, I don't, I didn't really know. I, I don't remember any of the kids' names. Don't make me think, okay? Because I don't even know any of the kids' names. But I like the little girl. She's adorable. She's like a little hugger. And just like, she's so innocent and kind. I love that. The foster kids don't really play a big role in this movie in the beginning, but near the end, they play a ginormous role in this movie near the end. But as I said, like I like the foster kids, I like the aspect of that. But I feel like we should have more time with these characters to understand who they are, and you know, just I just we just didn't get enough time with them. Sure, it'll make the movie a little bit longer, but I feel like we just need a little bit more time to care more about these characters because I I like these characters, I like the idea of them. But we just didn't get more. We just need more of them to actually care about them. I didn't really care much about them. But maybe the little girl. I like the little girl though. But I think. I mean, we could have got a little bit more of her too. So, yeah. Um, the action in this movie. Um, some it's good. Some is very sloppy. You can just tell when it's green screened. Some of it's really like. Just you could tell it was just really rushed. Um. Yeah. And it's like, this superhero is just, I don't know, this is a really good, this is a fun film. Um, there's not really much to say else about this film, other than I like it better than Captain Marvel, surprisingly. A DC movie was actually enjoyable, and just, yeah, I like this movie. I like the actors, I liked, um, I liked this stuff. They weren't just, the kids weren't just dead, you know, because most kid actors are just like, stupid, or just can't don't act at all and jazz <laughs> so yeah that's really it for this movie guys that's it thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later goodbye everybody